Welcome back to another episode of AJ Larkin Garage. Today we are chucking a big boy exhaust on the FGX. Uh, this is going to be a few day series, not series, a few day filming. Uh, it will all be in one video for you guys, but I've got a deadline. I've got to get back to the exhaust shop on Saturday to get some other shit done to it. So we're going to smash this out as quick as we can and I'll uh, take you along the journey with me. So uh, hang on. So before even lifting the car up, what you want to do is take the heat shield off so that we can get to these bolts. Now, um, in a lot of older cars, these will be stuck on. This car hasn't got too many Ks on it, so I should be sweet. Uh, get a bit of Inox or WD-40 or any of that stuff that you can use that'll um, eat rust and get rid of all that makes it hard. And then you're gonna let it sit and soak, get these bolts, and then eventually get, once we get the car jacked up, get all these ones undone. I just wanna get these ones soaking as soon as possible because this is one of the hottest parts of the exhaust and apart from the manifold and the turbo here. This is the next bit and of course we're going to be taking this off you don't want to be stripping these or snapping these off in the housing because that's going to turn a two minute job into a three hour job um we're going to also have to take off this bottom heat shield but we might even just be able to bend it i haven't had a better look at it we're going to also undo our o2 sensor because we're going to have to take that off i'll actually probably leave this on the manifold just unplug it and then try and crack it when it's out of the car because it doesn't look like there's too much of a good spot to uh, do it down there but I'll still give it a crack and I'll let you know how we go. So uh, so this system is got a four inch, it's an X4 system. It's got a four inch dump, four inch cat, 100 cell high flow cat. Then it's got the three and a half inch rest of the system. I believe it's got two mufflers. I've only got the first half and picking the rest up tomorrow. I'm gonna take it back to the place that I got this from, which is Muffler Madness in um, Tradeland Road. So make sure you go down there, check those guys out. They've helped me out a lot with this. They've kept the price down, they've helped me out. Uh, so I'll be going back there on Saturday, obviously, to get the rest of the exhaust done. Um, so they're gonna do a middle muffler delete and put a lobster tail tip on the back. Keep it a bit different. Um, so yeah, I have read a few reviews about the X-Force system on a lot of the forums saying that the middle muffler hangs a bit low. I don't particularly want the middle muffler on there anyway because it might be a bit too quiet. So we're just going to send it and get to that. But um, yeah, huge shout out to Muffler Madness. So thank you guys. So um, I've already cracked these now, but the best way to do it is to get your 13 mil socket and a big old bar and then just, I can't really do it with one hand, but you want to hold it and then just shock it with your other hand. If that makes sense. So you want to push it and try and get it in one motion. Don't like slowly try and push it because that's how you snap them. You want to try and shock crack it to get it undone. So give it a good whack and that'll bloody snap. Well not snap, but it'll crack the, the rust off it and then you'll be sweet. Uh, these ones in here, I'm gonna have to hit with a spanner, but these top ones are pretty good. I'm gonna have to have a geezer at the bottom ones once I get the car up in the air. But uh, I'm lucky this car's got low kilometers on it. So um, they're not too seized in there anyway. So hopefully the rest of it's gonna be this easy. <sighs> Alright, before we go any further, I'd just like to say use inox on every single bolt. I've just uh, undone this one, didn't bother putting inox on it. Whew. Anyway, I suggest taking the catalytic, convert the catalytic converter, take that one out too. Uh, drop this out up here. There's two bolts up, in, up yonder. I'll try and get the light up in there. There's a bolt on the front and a bolt on the back. Uh, to get to that back one, drop off this and then it should hopefully move forward a wee bit so you can get an extension up in there. Uh, and that way you can get to the bottom bolts of the uh, turbo housing there a bit easier. There's probably a better way. I'm just really tired because I've been at work all day. But we've got to get it done. Um, so I'm going to try and get the rest of the system out this afternoon but it probably won't happen. Um, but I'll do a size comparison. I'll pull them both out, lay them both side by side and do a size comparison of the X4 system compared to the factory one. And even like locations, like the cat isn't actually up here on the X4 system, it's down in here, which is a lot better, I think. It gets a lot more heat away from there. Um, so we'll go over all that. Like I said, we've got to take these O2 sensors out. Um, but yeah, we're just having a good old good time by myself under here. But um, yeah, we'll, I've just got the front jacked up at the moment. I'll eventually get the back jacked up once we work to the back of the car. I couldn't be really bothered jacking up the back 
because um, I want someone to watch the front to make sure they don't slide off, but that's beside the point. Um, so yeah, I'll smash this last bit out and I'll cut back to once I've actually got the cat off and we can get to the rest of it and I'll have it all out of the car and go from there. Eh? Uh, just on a side note, if you have to undo something and it's a little bit heavy and the last bolt's in a bit of a weird spot, put in a bolt like a few screws in to a place you can easily get to so you can then hold where you need to um, when you go to pull it out so that you're not awkwardly in an awkward angle trying to get the last bolt out and then it drops out. Uh, it's common knowledge and that I thought I'd just mention it so that someone doesn't hurt themselves. Uh, like you can see up here I've left the easy to get into nut in the way so um, it's not going to fall down on me once I get that first bolt out so uh, just a bit of food for thought. Okay, got the cat and dump pipe out. As you can see, that's a factory one. I'm just going to take out these sensors. There's one back here. Uh, these are your O2 sensors. They read the uh, emissions from one side of the cat to the other. Uh, so we've got one sensor here for it, and the other one is on the back side of the uh, cat. Just so you know, if you go chuck a different exhaust system on before the cat, you'll get engine lights and all sorts of other stuff. So don't worry about that. When you get a tune, that should come out of it. If you're getting an exhaust system from the cat backwards, you'll be sweet. Uh, you won't have any codes because you won't be changing the volume of it. Uh, this is a high cell cat. It's a 100 cell. High cell. Wow. High flow 100 cell cat. So um, it's, it should be uh, good to get the uh, boosties through there. So um, whew, I'll quickly knock off these sensors, throw them onto here. I'm going to have to get some bolts tomorrow because I haven't got any bolts on me at the moment. But tonight I'm just going to rip the rest of the exhaust out and then lay it all down because I'm going to pick up the rest of this system tomorrow from the shop because they didn't have it in. Okay, so now the most painful part's done. Close the garage door up because it's getting a wee bit late. Uh, I've jacked the rest of the car up and now I'm going to start smashing out the whole rear end. Uh, there's nothing too major. I will say that I've got a copy, see how on your factory manifold you've got this bolt for your heat shield and then this one also has the same bolt hole uh, just go over it and just copy to make sure what stuff is missing and what stuff isn't uh, the aftermarket one hasn't got any braces for the dump pipe like the factory one does so I'll um, knock those brackets off there's one down is there so I'll take that one off and the other ones already come off with the with it already so we should be uh, all sweet once I smash that off um, and then I'll start taking the rest off I'm not going to start fitting the dump pipe or anything until I've got uh, the rest of the system here alrighty got it out as you can see I'm filthy um, it's a little bit more so uh, we've got the rest of it out as I showed before now this bit is the crossover bit that goes over there's like a bracket, I'll go over that more tomorrow. Um, then we get back to where I got my middle muffler delete. As you can see, this is where you guys would normally have that big muffler. Uh, because I got the muffler removed and there's a hanger off the muffler, there was a hanger on this bit instead. They fitted one on here. So um, I had to get yeet that off with the grinder. And then I decided to start doing it on this bit because you can see there's a slip joint here where they must fit it from factory. I couldn't get enough angle with this muffler on the back to get it through. Um, so I'll just pack all that up and uh, sort that out so I can resell it maybe. If someone wants one, <laughs> it'll be on Marketplace. I'm sure someone would love it. Uh, so I will tack that up uh, and I'll cut back further. So this might be a bit of an issue for someone, but if you guys are actually planning on doing this and your diff bush is stuffed, I'd suggest doing both at the same time. Course you can actually save that whole piece if you just drop the whole uh, rear end out of it and there's no point doing that unless you're doing your diff bush so I just cut it in half I'm sure in the comments someone will say oh you could have done it this way well guess what I didn't because I just want to get it done uh, and a grinder is much <laughs> quicker than rooting around okay so a quick way to get these O2 sensors out let them sit in uh, inox for a while in WD-40 I've already loosened them off obviously, get yourself a 22, I know it would be better to use this end because, uh, yeah it would be because it's a ring end. If you have um, the C spanners, they're like one that can fit over that, that'd be the best tool to use. Uh, and then you just hold it where it needs to, if you have your C spanner do the same thing, and then get your adjustable hammer, or preferably an actual hammer, 
and give it a good smack so it undoes them. Uh, that's what I do at least. Uh, make sure you don't mix these up. Make sure this one that you've got this uh, darker plug on it that goes to the back of the, the exhaust or behind the cat and the green one goes before the cat. Um, I mean, it won't really matter until you put it back in the car and realize, oh, the plugs are in the wrong spot. So you need to make sure they're in the right spot, obviously. All right, so we're back day two. Uh, it's a Thursday. So we've got the dump in. I don't think I filmed that yesterday. That's been put in. Uh, there wasn't too much to do with that. It was just getting in, bolting it up. I did use a bit of, oh, I've lost it. A bit of this stuff. So um, you can also buy this at Muffler Madness as well. Uh, it just helps add to the gaskets and shit. Um, the gasket that comes off the dump pipe is a pretty small one, so I just do a bit on there. Uh, just put a smear on it when you put it and wipe off the excess so it doesn't get in anywhere you don't want it to be. Uh, so we've got this box, and this is what we picked up yesterday. Uh, not yesterday, today, sorry. We picked this up today, this afternoon. I uh, opened it before I brought it over here just to make sure everything was good and then I had the transport back to you. So we've got our mufflers, we've got more pipes, uh, and my favourite part of the whole thing, this Big Daddy 4 inch lobster tail. So that's going to look absolutely wicked sitting out just there. I think that's going to look fat, so, so uh, yeah, I think that's going to look pretty nice. Um, this is my personal preference. End of the day, you build the car for you, not for everyone else. So if you just don't like it, then that's your guy's problem. <laughs> so um, this is getting put on on Saturday, as long as the muffler delete is getting done as well. So today's just going to be smashing out the rest of the system, and I hopefully might start it if it's not going to be too late at night when we're done. So um, let's get back into it again, eh? All right, here you go. Side by side comparison. Excuse me dogs, I'm, I'm filming. Side by side comparison. Uh, so this is actually a cat back system. Well, from there, I've got the old pipe here. So you can actually just buy this system here uh, and that'll bolt straight up to the factory cat, which we have over here. Uh, if you don't want to get your car retuned. So that's what you boys can do. If you don't want to get your car retuned, you can just get this cat back system. Um, and I'll have all this exact stuff, uh, so which is pretty good. I'm obviously getting the full system done, so this pipe's different, and this will suit the rest of our system here. So I'm returning this pipe as well as uh, the tip, this unopened tip, uh, just to help them back out at Muffler Madness because they help me out. Uh, and of course, I've got to go back anyway to get this done. Um, so as you can see, there's meant to be a muffler here, that's been cut out. They're doing the same thing to uh, this one here. They're gonna cut this out for me. Um, so once that's all done, it'll sound pretty fat. So um, yeah, we'll smash this out. It won't be too hard. Uh, the kit comes with the gaskets and all that as well. Um, I've got a few extra gaskets. What I don't think it comes with, it's got some bolts here, uh, is assembly bolts, but don't worry about that you should actually be able to use some of your factory bolts in some of these holes. I've got a whole bunch of new bolts because I can just get them cheaper. So we're gonna smash all this out, connect it all up. I have also been told with this slip joint here, because this slides over this, the clamp that holds all this together, which is somewhere in this box, I think, hopefully, in here. So I have been told that this clamp can actually come loose so what I'm going to get them to do and they'll probably do it anyway is once this is all together I'm going to drive it down there for them to do the muffler delete they'll just put a quick tack onto this here so it holds it all together a bit better because yeah these do come loose I have been told uh, and there has been a few issues I have seen on the Ford pages with this uh, muffler particularly hanging a bit too low in the car I don't want it in the car anyway I'm going to still keep the muffler just in case I get pulled over by the popo I can just chuck it back in um, but yeah, that's just a quick side-by-side -side comparison of the two. It's a, a shitload bigger system and it should make it sound a lot better than what it does now. Uh, like I said in the previous videos, that muffler delete was just a super cheap thing to do. 90 bucks compared to over a thousand dollars for this system. So, um, 
yeah, but I don't know the exact price of just the cat back system. It'd be a lot cheaper. But yeah, with the dump pipe and all that, it does get a bit pricey. Plus then you got to get your tuning and that done. Tuning won't be happening for a bit because I'm getting some other stuff done to this, which you'll be seeing in other videos very shortly, hopefully. <laughs> when the parts come in, COVID's really uh, um, slowed down shipping on everything, which is tremendous. So um, this might not be news for some people, but when you want to put some gasket sealing on, I always find more is better than less. Um, that's just my opinion. Obviously, if you're an exhaust shop, you'd probably probably know better than me. Uh, so I normally just put a bead through around it, and then you get your get it all over yourself, obviously. And then just get a finger and just smush it in, and make sure you get the coverage all over it as you go around. This will just help because this gasket will crunch down when you tighten it up, but the gasket sealant shit just helps add an extra bit of um, what do you call that? You know the word, a bit more of that shit so that we haven't got a chance of it leaking. Um, I've sealed up exhaust with just this stuff. I probably wouldn't recommend it. I mean, it'll work, um, but wouldn't recommend it. You always want to have a gasket. Um, so we chuck a bit of that on there and I'm going to do this to every single gasket except that muffler one. Oh. Yeah, we'll even do it to the muffler one because they're not going to have to take that muffler bit off. So um, just chuck it on that like I've done there, and then you just put it on your surface up here, and it should stay there. All right, I forgot to mention also, when fitting up an exhaust, get everything like bolted in, but don't have it tight, like make it so you can move it around. Uh, just cause once everything's in, if you start tightening shit up from the cat to the back of it, as you're going, you might not have that wiggle room to move something in the right spot. So just get it like all this is bolted in, but you can still move it. So um, just do it lightly to begin with till the whole system's in. And then once everything's all happy, then tighten it all up. Alrighty, got the exhaust in. I had to take off this mem that cross member bit to get the rest fit. Um, to fit it all in, it's pretty much straightforward. If you know what you're doing, it's not that hard. Uh, only bit that was a slight issue was where it goes over the diff. There's the clamp that holds it together. It's a bit of a pain in the ass to get to, but once you, once you get it on there, it's pretty sweet. Um, oh, now, get some footage of the first startup uh, when you do start it up like I did say you are going to get some fault codes throw up that's what it looks like at the back we are changing that tip <laughs> so um you should get some fault codes when you first start it but like I said that it will go away once you get it tuned so uh, I'll set you down and um, start her up <laughs> deeper once we get that muffler taken out she'll be nice and loud it is cold so i'm not going to rev the tits out of it i'll uh, let it warm up and then we'll take it for a lap around the block all right so it's saturday morning um the exhaust is all in the car i did take it for a test drive on thursday night after i had it all together i didn't film it because it was too dark i couldn't see anything um I will say it didn't throw any codes, but what happened was it did overboost. Uh, that's obviously because it's got a higher flying exhaust now. Um, you can drive it still, just don't, you know, rev the ring out of it because you'll put it into limp mode. Um, I'll get you under there. Look, it hangs up. Not the bit that hangs. Sorry, wow. The bit that hangs the lowest, I'd say, is the dump pipe. I'm gonna see if they can uh, have a geezer at that when I get there today. But um. I'll hook the GoPro up to the back of the car and go for a quick little rip before I get the muffler taken out so you guys have an idea what it sounds like. camera didn't fall off and I just did that I was a bit worried uh, so I'm heading in now to get the middle muffler taken out and that tip put on so um, I'll definitely be doing a video 
I'll add to the video obviously what it sounds like with the middle muffler taken out. It pulls a lot harder now with that exhaust done. Uh, but yeah, like I said, you can't flog it because it'll overboost and then it'll cut the timing out so the motor doesn't blow itself up. Uh, I did find that out the first night uh, on Thursday when I drove it. I gave it a bootload and it took off like a rocket. Um, so uh, yeah, then it cut timing and it was a bit boggy. So uh, yeah, but it's fine now, but just be mindful of that. Don't go flogging it because it isn't tuned yet. You risk over boosting and damaging something. So uh. Alrighty, so we're heading back from Muscle Madness now. We've got the middle muffler delete as you can probably hear. It's a lot more noisy now. We've got the lobster tail put on as well. I'll do a, uh, I'll click through the photos now of what they did because I think they sent me some photos in the video. So I'll go to that now. So I've driven it around for a little bit now. We do have the engine light pop up, like I did say will happen. So uh, that'll go away once we get it tuned. We're not getting it tuned yet, obviously, because we've already discussed that. Um, so now we're actually stopped <laughs> at Yarra Bilba. Give you a walk around of it. So I'm happy with that. I'm very happy with it. Very good parking, bud. Nice shirt, bud. Straight in. Thanks for watching. Uh, next week, we're going to be doing a clutch on the FGX, hopefully, if it's in. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and we'll catch us next time. Like, subscribe, share it around, and see ya.